Um, let's speak about those comments, this leaked audio tape, which is from a decade ago or, or something, and it's been leaked in The Guardian, obviously very politically motivated. Um, but Liz Truss says, look, we have a culture in this country where we're not as productive. She actually backs that up with some data about our productivity. What's the big deal? Lots of people agree with that. Yeah, I suppose it's the, it's the focus on the workers, isn't it, that people have taken exception to. But I think I've been in touch with the uh, trust camp this morning and they're saying, actually, these comments were taken out of context. You've not got the wider discussion in there. And actually, we do have a productivity problem in this country. We've had it for a long time. And there is a big gap between the north and the south. The, the north is 40% less productive uh, than, than the south in terms of how many hours people are working and what that actually amounts to in terms of input into the economy. And we're less productive than France. You know, we work more hours and, and, and we're getting less economic benefit from it. So, you know, there is a massive problem yeah. to solve here. And I think that's what she's L wanting to do. One of our viewers, uh, I can't find uh, the view at the moment, but they got in touch and said, well, that's because of investment. Of course, London's yes. more productive. You've invested in London, you know, however many times more than you've uh, invested in the North. And that's what levelling up was supposed to be about. So they'll be saying to Liz Truss, you know, that's... That's your fault. That's your party's fault. Uh, well, I mean, this is the point, isn't it? It's not that northern workers are, um, you know, less hardworking than southern workers. It is about the investment and it's about infrastructure. Um, the northern powerhouse have, have been, that was set up to kind of solve these problems to help um, with rail infrastructure in the north, which is really lags behind the south. And that's a massive part of this. And also it's about companies. They've got to invest in um, staff, they've got to help skill people up. That's a really crucial um, way of sorting out this problem. You've got to invest in your machinery and, and your equipment, and that helps on all these things. So it's not about workers, you know, just not really putting in the, the effort. It's about the infrastructure. That's what needs to be solved here. Um, here we go, Sam. Denise has got in touch to say, I'm sure that most people in the country know where this leak came from. Rishi is getting desperate and leaking is what happens when they don't know what else to do. We should be investigating who is doing the leaking. And this is how they started trying to get Boris out by leaking party gates. <gasps> Sam Lister, you're a political editor. What a <laughs> terrible, scandalous accusation. I'm sure you're investigating it, aren't you? Well, I don't know where the leak has come from. Well, go but and it, find but out. It's, it's not surprising if it had come from the camp because, the, you know, these contests do get very, very tough and very, very dirty. And we've seen, you know, Rishi Sunak last night in the hustings last night made a uh, another very brutal attack on Liz Truss. And I think it shows how, you know, perhaps desperate he is that actually, you know, he's now resorting to these kind of um, hardline attacks. If, if it stuff. is, if somebody in your office does find out categorically that this came from Rishi Sunak's camp... Oh, we would run that as a story, absolutely. So. And, and how do you think that would go down with the Conservative Party members? They're the ones who've got to vote. There's only about 160,000 of them. Well, I think what's actually interesting this morning is um, there, there was a new poll out from Conserv Conservative Home, which is actually very linked into the grassroots. They've been yeah. polling the grassroots. They have Liz Truss 32 points ahead of Rishi Sunak. There's only 9% of Conservative voters now undecided, apparently, in this contest. That's, that's not many votes to win over, no. is it? And, not, and they say already 60% of the party have voted. So really, I mean, Rishi Sunak, it doesn't matter yeah. what he does now. It mm. seems that Liz Truss is, is almost certain to be elected if that poll is yeah. to, to be believed. Um, I believe yesterday uh, Liz Truss did say she would have Rishi Sunak Sunak in her cabinet. I think she confirmed that that would be the case. Um, let's be honest, you know, all the indications are that Liz Truss is going to win. What job do you think she would be giving Rishi Sunak? Chancellor, perhaps? I doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> They're so far apart yeah. on, uh, on economic principles that I can't see how she could possibly yeah. put him back into that role. And I think actually, I mean, it, even though she's saying she will go, uh, she will give him a job and he said he would accept a job, in reality, how can these two people work together? Well, they're kind of, they're kind of flagging off the, the, their policy platforms for weeks yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. And it also depends what... Ha it genuinely depends what happens in the next two weeks. If it yeah. is found that these leaks are coming from Rishi's camp, she's going to make him housekeeper in number 10. That's all she's <laughs> going to offer him, isn't it? Yeah, I, it's very hard to see how they can work. I mean, you know, maybe she will give him some kind of obscure junior job, but I mean, <laughs> he'll I can't go. see he will take Do you think it. he'll stick around if he doesn't win? He, he said he'll stick time. around. He said he'll stick around. And obviously, I think he's one of those people who... You know, it's about public service, so perhaps you can see him doing that. But you, you think, know, he's, Sam? A, he's I mean, you know, he's oh, got enough on. money. He doesn't need to earn any more.